Innovation is key at the Farnborough Air Show in Hampshire, England, a week-long international trade fair for the aerospace industry where the technology of tomorrow is on show for all to see and where you get to glimpse at projects which in a few short years will become a reality. The European manufacturer Airbus has introduced the iPad to its cockpit. The touchscreen device used by millions on a daily basis can now be operated by pilots to carry out numerous performance calculations, including the configuration of the aircraft's takeoff. Our children use it every day, so we must be able to provide the same type of technology to Airbus pilots, especially when it's so fantastic in terms of ergonomics, ease of access and data processing. At the innovation stand, a number of projects from European universities are on display. The University of Cardiff in Wales is exhibiting its programme, which identifies in real time any damage caused to a plane structure. The idea of this system is to pick up damage, so to be able to very early on collect uh, information about any damage in the structure and where it is and what kind of damage we've got. There are sensors actually embedded into the composite structure um, and they pick up a wave that comes off the damage, a signal that comes off the damage as it grows. And by using that information we can work out exactly where the damage is. And Virgin has unveiled a full-scale model of its galactic spaceship too, where the price for a ticket to space when it's operational will cost 163,000 euros.